So guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and I have come up with something that's a little bit cheesy and by a little bit I mean insanely cheesy on a different level of cheese actually. So what I'm going to show you right now is how to soak somebody's base without losing a single tame, using a single C4, using anything but bees. Now just to show you this is not my base. Yeah, I have to turret. It is on players and tames, so I'm just going to sit here and show you that I can actually take damage from it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pop down some beehives. And there's the structure limit right there. There we go. And we're going to pop down. Let's just say, you know, let's practice with one first, and then I'll kind of explain to you how to do this even better. And we'll go from there. So, demo your beehive. Encumber your bee. Now, when you do this, basically what's going to happen is your bee is going to be stuck in place, and it serves as a turret that releases a continuous level of bees. Now, check this out. All you got to do, whistle attack my target, and then whistle attack this target, and then still start releasing bees. Now what you do is actually pretty easy. You go back to whistle attack this target again. Yeah. And she will release a never-ending stream of bees. And you can soak somebody's entire base with this strategy. Oops, the bullet got passed and actually got my queen. That's unfortunate. But you can see the point here. Um, you can raid somebody's entire base like this. Now, I'll show you how I would do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, put a whole bunch of these things down. Uh, and just show you what it would look like to have an army of bees raiding somebody's base. Now, you can do this. Um, I have had it happen before where the turret will shoot and go past the regular bees, like the bees that are supposed to be soaking, and hit the queen bee. It doesn't happen very often. You could put them in a box if you really wanted to. It's entirely up to you. But, you know, to each their own. So, now I've got myself a little army of bees. I'm going to go ahead and fill them with their stone so this is for something like let's say you're trying to raid somebody's base and uh they got a lot of turrets but you don't feel like soaking this is gonna be just insane so it's gonna be really loud so i apologize that uh for that aspect of this but using bees to raid is gonna be hilarious now i'm just saying this is like a different level of cheese so you are i mean they will have to nerf this eventually um but I just, it's amazing that you can actually do this. So we'll see if it actually works. Okay, so demo. It's right here. And we've got ourselves a ton of mobile bees. Now we've encumbered them all so they can't actually do anything. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and whistle attack this target. And you'll notice they all release their bees. This is sweet. All right, you ready? Check this out. Oh, come on now. Whistle attack this target. Okay, maybe a little bit closer. There we go. Look at this army. Look at this. Yeah. And that is how you soak somebody's base right there. And you just sit here and continue to whistle. And it will never stop. You can do this for as long as you want to. And you can just sit here at zero cost to you. And just continue to send your little wave. Now sometimes you saw right there that the bullets will get past the normal ones. And uh, that's just how it works. But you can literally sit here in never ending waves. And soak somebody's face with bees. So, now you're going to want to protect your bees. As you can see, they're getting destroyed because that's just how these turrets sometimes work. They fire past the bees and they smack your queen. Not what you want, so. But obviously, if you just keep going for it, you can soak somebody's entire base like this. Oops, that one got shot. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this would work against, I don't know, let's say like a super base. So, we're going to go ahead and blow this all up because, you know, why not? Boop. And, um, basically what's going to happen is we're going to sit over on this side and raid a base on this far side with like tons of heavies, tons of autos. And I'm going to show you how much soaking power this really does have. 
it's something that is just bonkers that this is possible. In my opinion, this should not be something that you can do, and they should have thought this through a while ago, but to each their own, so, you know, whatever. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put down a bunch of foundations. Let's say we make a wall that is, I don't know, how many is this? A couple? Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a good amount of wall. Oops. Oh, well. Boom, boom. All right, so we have ourselves a decent sized wall at this point in time. I'm going to put down some of my turrets here. Let's just start smacking turrets down. And uh, you get the point. We're going to put down a ton of turrets. And uh, we're going to want a way to protect our bees, I think, because with this many turrets, the probability of some of them getting hit is pretty high. So we'll just see. All right. Come on. There we go. All right. So now with this many turrets, you're looking at a <laughs> probably a really large base, and that's kind of just how it works, um, but, you know, to each their own. So we're going to put down some more ceilings, and then we will kind of put down some more. Oh, not what I wanted to do, but oh well. I don't need that there. Okay. So that's a lot of heavies down there. This, these are automatic uh, firing. They have no need for a battery and they have unlimited ammo with these turrets. So it's not something that's going to ever run out. We can sit and test to our dreams content, which is kind of fun. So, all right. So that's a lot of heavies right there. Um, most bases that you face aren't going to have this many heavies firing at you at one time. However, we're going to pretend that maybe you do face a base like that. So now what we got to do is we got to go to oops options. Make sure that our governance is tribe owned and tribe owned. There we go. Update, leave tribe. Tribe of the bee. All right. There we go. We are in a new tribe. Just so you know, I'm going to show you how much. Well, let's just watch. Look at this. Yeah. Okay, so that's scary. Um, this is the line right here where we can't really go past. Um, and that's just, you know, because that thing will slaughter us. So what we're going to do is we're going to plop down some foundations because I have an idea on how to keep our bees safe and continue to raid this base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a little bit of a wall. Now with this wall, I'm going to put some ramps on it. And basically, this is just going to make it so our queen bees are protected while our other bees just do all the hard work. Um, and this way they don't get caught because that's why we're placing down these, what you see right here. I'm really not going to let me place them there. Whatever, fine. Doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot. So let's plop down our bees now. Okay. All right. Beehive. Beehive. Now, the one thing that you're going to have to do is you will have to have a bunch of stone on you. And uh, that's just because that's how this works. So take that for what you will. Uh, beehive, beehive. And we can even make multiple rows of beehives. It doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot. But I just want to show you how OP this could be. If you got like 150 beehives and you were just trying to raid somebody's base with this, with this strategy, you could probably soak their entire base in a matter of, I don't know, 20 minutes tops because every single turret would nonstop fire at your never-ending B army. And that's just crazy OP. All right, so there we go. We've got all these down. Let's go ahead and demolish this and make sure, remember, encumber. Come on, there we go, encumbered. And these are just level one Bs, so it's not like I'm spawning anything special. These are like what you would find in the actual world around you. And that's just kind of cool to think about because you're not really doing anything special. All right, so there we go. Come on. And let's do it one more time. Yep. Oh my goodness, there are so many bees. This is going to be so loud. I'm going to have to turn the volume down to this so we can actually hear what's going on. All right, so. So you've seen people attack with many things, but have you ever seen people attack with bees? The answer is probably not, because there's just no way that happened. I mean, whatever. But teach their own. Okay, so making sure they're all encumbered, because if they are not encumbered, they will fly towards where I want them to be, uh, or if I want their minions to go, and we don't want that. So let's avoid that at all costs. All right, so demolish, 
There we go. And one, two, three. Why not? Uh, and we're good to go. So, now we've got all of our bees over here. That's not a bad thing. F12, kind of cool. Before they, just in case they die. And we're going to pull down our spyglass. And what we're going to do is we're going to get them to this wall. Whistle attack this target. And here comes the army. Alright, so let them build their army up for a second. And then whistle attack this target. Come on now. There we go. And they're off. Look at this. Alright, so now all you've got to do is just continue to whistle attack this target. Look at this. Look at this. Alright, whistle attack this target, whistle attack this target. Isn't this ridiculous? Alright, so I can even sit way out of range. And here goes the bees. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So you just sit here, whistle attack this target the entire day, and you could raid any base without losing a single thing as long as you're just willing to sit here and lose a couple of your bees. This is insane. Alright, so. And look at that. It's just a never-ending wall of production bees. Attack this target. Attack this target. Oh. My. Goodness. Alright, let's see if I can get a cool picture of it. There we go. That looks cool. Alright, so that is how you do it. So, as you can see, I haven't lost a single thing. And, uh, they are quite literally just releasing a never-ending stream of things. And that's how it works. Um, if I was to whistle them on aggressive, just so you know, I could try and run over here and see if they'd maybe attack. Nope, doesn't look like it. Looks like the only way to really get this to work, to raid with these bees, whistle attack this target. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is so hilarious. And then they produce more. Whistle attack this target. And it's a never-ending bee raid. <laughs> this makes me laugh so hard. So anyways, hopefully this strategy helps you out, and hopefully some of those large bases that you had no chance at getting, you can just start raiding with bees. Literally raid with every bee you can, because that's just how it works. Never-ending raid cycle. Now right, let's see if I can get a cool picture from this angle, and that's, you know, that's what this is. Alright, so anyways, hopefully this video helps you out, and other than that, teach out.